What's up guys, it's Pistol Rods here and I got a quick video for you guys. Uh, one of the things that I've always kind of struggled with with the styling of the FZ09 is this guy right here. That rear banana seat. I freaking hate this. Like I hate the look of this thing. So I actually went ahead and bought one of these guys. Right here, this is the FZ09 rear seat cowl. And basically, it turns this and tries to make this one piece look like a two piece. All right, if you guys want a little bit of perspective on what this thing is actually made of, um, it's plastic. And it's actually not very like flexible plastic. It's kind of hard. If you just think of something that's on a fairing, this is the same deal. Made by Yamaha, sold by Yamaha. Um, on the bottom here, there's actually very little to it there's a seal right here and then these these louvers as you may call it this this mesh chicken wire stuff i really wish that they made this stuff in black instead of silver maybe i'll do something to rectify this but this back portion here is styled to look like carbon fiber but it's not really carbon fiber it just has a little bit of pattern worked into here the top portion of it is matte black and it matches the rest of the bike and then on this bottom part, there is a little bit of a seal to actually help with this. So if you're an FZ09 owner, you know that the seat does not fit well. There's this big ass gap between the bodywork and the actual seat. So this kind of like helps solve that. So really, it's, it's plug and play. So let's go ahead and install this guy and I'll tell you how it works right now. So now we're kind of actually on the operating table right here. What I have here is a 10 millimeter wrench. There's two bolts here and here that hold the actual strap, passenger strap onto the bike. So those are the pieces that we're gonna loosen first. Now that we've gotten those off, there's these two washers on each side. I'm going to pull those off and pry them up. Because I'm going to need these when I actually install the actual seat cowl to hold things down. Alright, so here's the seat cowl. The way that this thing is supposed to fit over the actual seat cover is that there's these two tabs connects to the back, right? And then there are these two mounting brackets right here that are supposed to go over these studs. All right, so the first pieces that we're gonna hit is these guys, these bump stops right here. So I'm just gonna lift it and just kind of slide it in. Slide it in gently, guys. Don't try to, don't try to force it because you don't want to snap these tabs because once you do, it's game over. All right, now that I'm over that, on the other side, yeah, I knew there was gonna be something holding it up. So the strap is holding it up. So what I'm gonna do is kind of just try to just fidget it in there. Give it a little bit of room so it can move. There we go. We're over the strap. So now we're here. This one is hitting up against the stud, so I'm going to lift that one first and kind of just pull, pull it down. And again, guys, be very, very gentle with how you do this because you do not want to break any of these tabs because then you're basically done. There's the first one. Keep sliding it. Now the backs are starting to line up. Now this one here. All right, now we got everything in place. You guys can see it's underneath the studs right now. This back portion here is touching the back of the seat. Here it is on the other side. Get some of this dust and dirt off of it. Okay, and wow, here's something that I want to mention to you guys is that I've already damaged this seat cowl. So, as you guys saw, I installed it on my workbench right here. 
um, it's wood. I mean, there's some dust on it, but if you put a pressure on this guy, the paint finish is gonna come off. Can you guys see that? That's pretty disappointing, Yamaha, that the paint finish can't stand up to just being on wood. So there's my first criticism um, right there is that there's scratches already in the paint finish. I guess you have to like lean a linen towel down, a silk, a silk sheet maybe so you don't get any scratches on this guy do that first so you've seen it here paint finish on this guy not good all right back to business of getting this thing completely secured we're going to drop the washers down you're going to take the locking nuts back here and put them back onto here you don't really need to do any like loctite or anything these are already have these polymer inserts or whatever inside of the nut so they should lock down if i can freaking thread a nut <laughs> all right so here's how it looks like on the tail so we're ready to install it back onto the bike and we're just gonna put the seat on like we usually do There it is, boys, completely installed. Now, let's take a look at the bike. See if it fits the lines of it. I like how it's looking on here so far. And I really wish they did something with this mesh and made it black. That would have made it a lot better. It would have matched my bike a ton better if it was like that. The seal helps fill that gap that is typically here even with the factory seat but there is a big piece of gap right here guys that disappoints me of the tail light there's this tail light section that comes off when it's factory that's like cuts off here that um that doesn't look that great on this bike this the seat cover cow covers it up but that could be a little bit tighter i mean for a factory oem piece they could have gotten this gap tighter on the tail light for sure the rest of it looks good so there it is guys the factory seat cowl from yamaha for the fz09 i'll see how it works out for me maybe i'll go back to the original look maybe i won't um but this changes things up a little bit it makes it seem not so banana seedy I'm not completely happy with some of the gaps that are in there or as I've mentioned the paint finish on it we'll see how long it actually lasts but there it is if you're wondering how this looks on FC09 this is it what are you guys still doing here click that subscribe button it's not gonna hurt you Go ahead, click it right here. Go on, keep doing it here. Click now!